What's up guys, good morning. So a lot of stocks right now are actually coming down in pre-market, but Mullen is green. We're just up a couple percents, but still green is green, right? And this is the question, is Mullen actually ready to run? Well, I'm gonna share some news with you this morning. Also gonna show you the short interest. There are zero shares available to borrow to short. And I don't know if this is gonna change over the next hour. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter. So go click the links down below. My Twitter is right down there. Follow me because I'm gonna be updating the short interest all day. As you can see right now, as of five hours ago, there are zero shares available to short. But six hours ago, there was two million shares available to borrow to short. So very confusing, right? But I do remember every time this has said zero, we have had some nice runs after this. Now, does that mean today's gonna be a run for Mullen? No, I'm just sharing what has happened before, right? I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. This is based on my own opinion, just the research that I do for all of you. Another exciting thing that we get to look forward to this month because today is June 20th, so we have a couple weeks, maybe like a week and a half left until July is here, and that is really the catalyst that we're all waiting for is production to really see if Mullen's gonna come through because David talks a big game. Well, when he talks, he doesn't really talk a lot, but when he talks, he says his actions are gonna show everybody that they're gonna be the number two next to Tesla. They're here to win, blah, 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 all that we've heard. But anyways, this is from Bo Rims, and he says, Mullen gearing up for a big week ahead as company confirms production starts. And you can see the facility right here. Very nice, right? We've seen this in marketing videos. We've seen this from other people that have gone to the plant and actually have talked to people that work for Mullen. And good news has always come from these people that we've seen on Twitter, right? Also below me, you can kind of read this if you want to. Mullen Automotive is gearing up for a big week, obviously for its class three commercial vehicles for production, right? So the question is, are they gonna get into production? Again, I think if they if they announce any news over this next week of clarity of, hey, this is when production is starting, this is when it's ending, this is how many vehicles we should have done by X date or whatever it might be, then this will give more confidence to investors because right now we're at 2365 pre-market, no one's getting excited over this, right? People will start to get excited, I think, once we start to climb back over a dollar organically and we don't have to do no reverse stock split like what they've been threatening us with on the last document that they put out. I think it was pretty clear from the Facebook that most of us saw yesterday. I didn't watch the whole thing, the Facebook Live that LH put out. Um, that he's done with Mullen or Mullen is done with him. The testing was not done. He did not do what the agreement was, right? He didn't go there, test the vehicles. And I think we all know why that is, okay? So my hope for Mullen Company, because the reason I invested in Mullen Company to begin with was what they've done, okay? It had nothing to do with any new technology, no one else adding to the, the mixture of everything going on. It was really based on the opportunity that they have with class one vehicles and now class three vehicles. I think there's a lot of opportunity with those vehicles to go into businesses and for businesses to be more efficient, faster, more cost effective. And I just think EV is our future. And I think Mullen has a very nice product being the class one van that a lot of businesses could use, right? And Randy Marin obviously also thinks this. We've seen interviews of them. I think Randy Marin is a credible company. Now, I think there's a lot of shady business with Mullen and these lenders and the people that own a lot of stock that I've shared with you, especially like Alt and some guy named Rice. Look into that on your, on your own time, but sketchy business. But does that mean the stock price can't go up? No, the stock price can absolutely go up because we're very oversold four hour, daily, weekly, all of it. But again, like I said on yesterday's video, for us to get over a dollar, two dollar, three dollars, naturally, we're gonna need some big news, which I think might be production news. Any news that David or anyone has in their back pocket that they wanna just lay out, that would also get us on a massive squeeze and no more dilution and no more shares available to borrow, which as of right now, there are zero shares available to borrow, but of course that can always change like it always does. So again, a lot of stocks right now are red. So it might be a crazy day. I was kind of looking at a bunch of different stocks this morning and a lot of stocks right now are very overbought. So we might get a pullback on the overall market, 
but the question is, will Mullen go up? Because we are at 23.78 right now pre-market. So a nice run would be great. Imagine if we get like a 100% run today and go up to 50 cents, that would be absolutely amazing. Again, the 50 SMA is the first area we wanna look for when you're just looking at technicals and that's about 74 cents right now. So that will obviously change as the day goes on. Maybe I'll make a video later talking about the charts and everything, but technicals haven't really been that accurate with Mullen because of the dilution and everything going on. I don't know why this always happens to me. I literally look online and news actually came out this morning. So I'll be making another video about the news that Mullen just dropped, okay? I'm kind of scared because we know when they drop news, it could be a run and then a major pullback. So I'll give you my analysis on that in a little bit. Don't forget to like this video. I would always appreciate that. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Of course, here's mine and have a great day.